Today I want to talk about Hunger by Nut Hamson. So this book was recommended to me by a friend. Uh, he said it was a good, interesting read. Uh, it was kind of hard to find, actually, though. Uh, it wasn't available at the bookstore. They had to order it. Although I think it is very old, and so that might be part of the reason. You probably can get it for free, actually, online if you want it to read a digital copy. So the story follows this uh, guy. Uh, he's an author of sorts. Like, in the beginning of the book, he's living in this attic, but he doesn't have really anything left. Maybe there's, like, a table and a chair and maybe a bed, but that's about it. Everything else, uh, except for the clothes on his back, he's sold uh, so that he can have money to uh, pay for his rent or to pay for his place to sleep and for food to eat. A lot of the book is just him wandering around in the streets. And one day he's wandering around in the streets and he sees like a friend or acquaintance of his and he has this blanket that the person lent. But he tries to avoid uh, making contact with the person because he doesn't have any money. He can't give the blanket back. He's kind of embarrassed about like how he borrowed something and he can't give it back or he can't pay him back for it. Um, at one point, there's this like a person who's kind of down on their luck as well on the street. Um, and they ask him for some money. And the main character kind of talks about like, like, oh, like, I, I don't have it, but I'm going to get money soon. Uh, he kind of runs off and he sells his jacket. And then he goes up to the this person who was asking him for money and he offers him some money. And the guy's like, oh, you're so poor. Like, I don't want to take your money. And then like out of like anger or rage or whatever, like he just throws the money, some of the money at this, this guy and then walks away. Because he sold his jacket and he gave some of the money away, he still had some money left. Left, um, and so he gets some food to eat, he eats it and he feels inspired. But then he realizes that his pen and his paper were in the jacket. And so he goes back to the pawn shop. Uh, like at some point he's walking and there's these like two women. He says something like really weird to one of them about them losing their book or something. He kind of harasses them. It seems like they're uncomfortable. He doesn't realize that he's making them uncomfortable for a while and then he does realize and he kind of runs away in shame his mind he feels like his mind is empty and has stopped working because he hasn't doesn't had anything to eat for so long uh, he sits down uh, on this bench and there's this man who has this like envelope or something and the character is kind of curious about it and so like he tries to talk to the guy uh, and then the guy asks him like where he lives and then he like makes up this address and then these lies like they just like going back and forth like making up stuff about like the person who lives at this house and like how they know them and all this stuff but this conversation kind of inspires him and he runs back to his apartment or whatever to to write something he writes something down while he's there though he's kind of like ashamed because he has no money and so he can't pay the landlady so he always is like avoiding her and stuff he writes this like letter and saying i'm sorry i'm leaving or whatever uh, and then he runs away um, the story that he wrote, he sells that to a newspaper. Uh, then it's like sort of another part of the story. And then now he's like living in this new place. I think it's like above like, like a barn or something for horses. One night he's like wandering the streets and he loses his keys. Uh, and he goes back to his home and the door is locked and so he can't get in. He asks the police officer if they have like the master key or something to be able to open the doors. The police officer says no and kind of recommends he goes to this homeless shelter. And so he goes to the homeless shelter and when he gets there, they ask him who he is and he says he's like a journalist and he just got locked out of his home. Uh, in the morning when it's time to go, like they're giving like a voucher for breakfast, but like he is so out and he doesn't want to admit that he's actually hungry. So he pretends that he has a job and then he doesn't get this voucher for the breakfast. So like he's hungry and he's like desperate, but he's not willing to admit it. Eventually he like gets so uh, desperate that he cuts the buttons off of his, um, his shirt or his vest or whatever and he tries to sell them. Man at the pawn shop doesn't want the buttons because like they're just buttons uh he kind of runs into the the lady uh the girl who he harassed earlier on and they kind of talk a little bit and he ends up kind of going on a date with her she kind of like thinks he's funny because she thinks that he was like joking around like he was drunk and he was just teasing her because he was drunk but she kind of actually realizes that like he's like kind of losing his mind and that he's like homeless and he's starving and i think they like maybe they like kiss or something and she rubs his head and all his like hair comes out and stuff because he's so malnourished uh and so like she realizes his like true state and so she asks him to leave like after this date and stuff he meets someone that he knew from the past and i think they feel sorry for him and so they give him some money and so he uses that money to like get a room at this, this house and some food uh, and so he gives them the money and he stays in this room. Uh, but eventually, like, he, he doesn't have any money left and he gets asked for the money, but he doesn't have it. 
uh, but like the people in the house like kind of have some sympathy for him so they let him stay uh, in their family room landlady seems pretty resentful of him because he doesn't do anything like he doesn't have any money he doesn't pay and he just like sleeps there and he eats their food he feels like guilty and bad about it and so like it just isn't a healthy situation or happy situation for anyone so he leaves um, like while he's outside um, like a post person comes up to him and gives him an envelope and he asks like who is it from and the postman says i'm not really allowed to tell you who it's from but i can tell you it's from a woman uh, he opens it up and there's money in it and he like kind of squishes it up because i think he's angry about getting the money and then he like goes to the landlady and he just gives her all this money that he had uh like the money that he got and he doesn't even use it for himself to eat or something even though he's like desperate and hungry and starving and everything and then at the end he goes to like the harbor or something and he sees this boat and they're like loading up coal onto it and so he like approaches the boat and he asks the captain he's like are you looking for a person uh, a worker or whatever and so then he just like takes his job and he's gonna like be loading coal on this boat and so like he's basically been starving all this time and then like he just finally like takes a job where he can make some money so that is hunger um, so like some interesting ideas from this story is like it's kind of like following like this guy who wants to be a writer or who is a writer and he wants to like make money off of his like creativity and, and writing and stuff but like just by by not having the resources to live by not being healthy like he's kind of like compromising or sacrificing his like creative ability and so like he can't like he can't write even though that's what he wants to do if you're a creative person like there's like a little bit of awareness of this like struggle about like you how you want to create things and you want that to be your job but like it's it's hard to make that a job sometimes that's like this weird personality um like maybe it's a mental health issue or maybe it's just pride or whatever but like he always is like willing to give away like his things like, it's like he gives money um to like this i think this disabled person he gives money to someone else he ends up getting some money at one point and he feels guilty about it so he gives it to like the street vendor it's just like he always like gives his money away even though he needs it because he's like trying to like keep this impression as this person who has money to give away even though he's starving um and like it's it's kind of like i don't know if it's like a conflict in him um but like it's 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 kind of like a weird kind of frustrating thing from the story because like he'd rather have this like pride rather than eat even though like his entire life revolves around the fact that he's hungry so it's like i don't know it's like ridiculous a lot of times too throughout the story he like blames god he like says it's god's fault that he's starving that he's hungry that he's not having success success like that he's just like in this state but like he doesn't like blame the people around him he doesn't even like look internally and blame himself uh like the idea of like the struggles and the powerlessness and like the way that someone who is like poor or hungry feels in society and like how they feel isolated and how they don't feel like connected and like he i guess that's part of why he feels the shame and why he's trying to like give away money whenever he gets it because like he he doesn't want to be that person who is like at the bottom who is like begging and asking other people for support he wants to be the one who has enough resources to give them away even though like that's not who he is another thing too is like he's very clearly like mentally ill like there's something wrong with him like you can like by the way he talks by the things he does like by the fact that he's just like like starving to death and like he's still not doing anything about it like there's something like clearly wrong with him uh, and so like this is like a, a theme throughout the story like it's like a way i guess it presents a way to think about homelessness and 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 the mental illness and like those struggles that come together and so like i think that's it's good because like you know probably everyone knows that but this book is pretty good at like making like showing that um through the following of this character when he met that woman and he had like the kind of date with her like he felt like so like invigorated and alive and like that was like his only human connection for like most of the book like most of the time it's like the cops are just like telling him to go away um like stop hanging out or whatever but like he's not really doing much otherwise like he's not having many interactions with people in real life those are my thoughts on hunger by nut hampson i wouldn't say that this was really like a good book like it's an interesting book but i found it pretty difficult to get through um like i felt like at some point like maybe when i was halfway through i was like i just have to finish reading this it's not like i enjoy reading it i just have to finish reading it so it was like a hard book to get through but i do think it has some interesting perspectives i don't know that i'd recommend it though let me know what you think in the comments below click that like button if you like this and uh, click that subscribe button if you're curious about seeing more videos in the future about book reviews uh thanks for watching and we'll talk next time goodbye